945, welcome back to Morning Break. Dr. Tunis Hunt is joining us from Hunt for Wellness. And we were commiserating about when you get older, a lot of folks start having sleep problems. And, and it seems like it's something that can kind of cascade where the insomnia starts getting to you and then you start thinking about your sleep pattern and not being able to sleep. You're, you're absolutely correct. You know, in fact, the CDC says the lack of sleep has become a major public health epidemic. Wow. Rihanna, George Clooney, and even Lady Gaga have all complained of not getting a good night's sleep. So you're among good company there. And, and what are, what what are some of the key factors? What are the some of the things that we do to ourselves that are limiting our ability to get to sleep? Well, I've identified that there's three major mistakes that a lot of people make when it comes to getting a good night's sleep. The first major mistake people make is they don't have an electronic curfew. Yeah. See, these tablets, our cell phones, and even televisions all emit a very special light called blue light that has been proven to disrupt the hormone responsible for sleep. So if we don't turn these off at least one hour prior to going to bed, we're going to struggle with sleep. So it's the light that's stimulating. It's and when the blue we're, light, And yes. when we're holding those right into our face, that's one of the things. What's the second thing the that we The second do? major mistake people make is in their bedroom, they have the wrong temperature. Yeah. What science actually shows us is the ideal temperature for sleep is between 62 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. In other words, it needs to be cold in our yeah. bedroom. We need that favorite comforter, blanket, whatever yeah. it is to snuggle with. Putting a too high temperature in the bedroom is, is disastrous for sleep. Which is probably good for our bills. We turn the heat down in the <laughs> winter right. time and, and, and moderate the air conditioning in the summer that, time. That's right, absolutely. Okay, the third key? The third major mistake people make when they sleep is they don't have a set bedtime. They go to bed different times throughout the week. What our body really needs is sleep between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. And so okay. when we stay up too late or we have those different bedtimes throughout the week, it's disastrous to what they call the circadian rhythm, which okay. is our natural sleep pattern. All right. Um, what other things can we do? Uh, mindfulness, meditation, something like that, that hour before bedtime that may put our mind into a, a sleeping state. I got something better. I even use something called a sleep acronym. And this okay. is the tips that you need to do to fall asleep better. Okay. S is that set that uh, electronic curfew or okay. set, set the uh, bedtime rather and stick to it every single week, uh, day. The second okay. one is the light. It's that blue light emitting devices. Okay. Turn off those devices and even black out the room. The darker the okay. better. E is exercise. Mm -hmm. Add a little exercise to your daily routine that'll help you fall asleep and stay asleep at night. The second E is the Epsom salt bath. So okay. that's something you can do an hour beforehand just to relax and get your body ready for sleep. Okay. And lastly is P and that's protein. Eat a small protein snack prior to bed. Okay. This will prevent what they call sugar spikes, which is the culprit that causes those th uh, keep people to wake up throughout the night. Okay, that's interesting. Yes. So it, a piece of chicken, a piece of steak, something, something soybean? Yeah, or even a scoop of almond butter okay. on, a, on a celery stick or something like that. Something very simple. Okay. And do you have any feelings about over-the-counter uh, non-pharmaceutical like melatonin? Well, so melatonin is one of those tricky things. I will caution about melatonin. When we add any type of hormone into the body, sometimes it dysregulates our body's own ability. So make sure you test melatonin before supplementing with it. Okay. But it can be useful if needed. Okay. Uh, Dr. Hunt, thank you so much for coming in. And tell us where we can find you and your website. Absolutely. My, my website is huntforwellness.com. I actually wrote a sleep guide that everybody can go download right now okay. at huntforwellness.com slash sleep. It's 21 tips. Everyone should know about sleep. Well, if it's, if it's good enough for George Clooney, it's That's good right. enough for me. My pleasure. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure.